this month marks the release of two new CPUs aimed squarely at PC enthusiasts. It's great to see AMD and Intel in true competition once again, although the two companies seem to be on very different technology tracks, with little in common in their latest CPUs besides both being x86 compatible. The first CPU out of the gate was Intel's Core i9-12900KS, which boasts even higher clock speeds than the earlier 12900K in order to boost performance. The second CPU released this month is the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. However, unlike Intel, AMD is trying something much more ambitious with its new processor. As you might imagine from its name, the new 5800X 3D is closely related to the existing 5800X. Where the new chip differs though is the addition of an extra 64 megabytes of level 3 cache, bringing the total up to a massive 96 megabytes. Cache memory plays an incredibly important role in CPU performance, as it's much, much faster than system memory and is used to temporarily store frequently used data. There is a downside, however, in that cache memory is expensive to produce and takes up a lot of space on the CPU die. So as much as we'd all like them to, CPU designers aren't at liberty to throw on hundreds of megabytes of cache memory. AMD's solution though with the 5800X 3D is to use a separate die to hold the additional cache, stacked on top of the CPU level die above where the existing level 3 cache is located and connected via a bi-directional ring bus. Given the fancy marketing name 3D V-Cache with the V standing for vertical, it's an ingenious way to add a ton of extra cache to a CPU without resorting to a monolithic die, with all the problems that would entail in terms of size, yields and ultimately cost. The only downside to 3D V-Cache, at least in this first implementation, is that the additional cache can't run at the same voltage normally used by the 5800X, so the 5800X 3D's base clock and boost clock is 400 MHz, 200 MHz lower than its predecessor. AMD is marketing the 5800X 3D as the fastest gaming CPU, so let's put that claim to the test. We benchmarked the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D with its massive level 3 cache against the original 5800X, plus a variety of other contemporary CPUs. To make the comparison as fair as possible, all the CPUs were tested in a very similar configuration, with the same cooler, graphics card and same amount of RAM. All the testing was conducted in Windows 11 Home with the latest drivers and BIOSes. One thing to note though before we dive into the test results is that we conducted all the game testing at 1440p. Now whilst we know that testing at a lower resolution would show more of a difference between the CPUs, 1440p is a very popular resolution with PC gamers. It doesn't really make sense to test at an artificially low resolution to make any CPU look more important than it is in determining game performance. Moments. The childish humour of Borderlands' ongoing looter shooter series remains popular to this day and just goes to show that not all games are GPU limited and that some also benefit from a fast CPU. What's remarkable here is the 43% speed up from the original 5800X of the new 5800X 3D, the sort of difference you'd normally expect to see between different GPUs, not CPUs, and is enough of a leap to put AMD in pole position in Borderlands 3. Far Cry 5 is another game that benefits from a fast CPU, with its gigantic cache giving the 5800X 3D a decisive lead over other processors. We also benchmarked the veteran but still extremely popular online shooter Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This game is known to be quite CPU limited, but it would appear that the game is sufficiently small enough to fit inside the 32MB cache of the 5800X, with no discernible performance uplift from the extra cache in the 5800X 3D, meaning Intel is still your best choice for CSGO. Metro Exodus is much more graphically intensive than CSGO, so it's no real surprise that the CPUs all perform very similarly in this game. The key takeaway from this graph being that if you have at least a Ryzen 5 or Core i5, for games such as Metro Exodus, you're better off spending your money on a more powerful graphics card than a more powerful CPU. The last game we benchmarked, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, showed a very similar pattern to Metro Exodus, with all the CPUs proving to have near-identical performance. 
Although the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D is first and foremost marketed as a gaming CPU, we wanted to run some non-gaming applications on it to see what the trade-off is between the expanded cache and reduced clock speed. Cinebench R20 is based on the popular modeling, animation and rendering application Cinema 4D, and this test renders a complex scene on a single thread. Now, while she'd never deliberately choose to only render on a single thread, this is an interesting test as it reveals a single thread performance difference between the various CPU architectures. What's immediately apparent from this graph is that the 5800X 3D is indeed slightly slower than the 5800X at rendering, something to to bear in mind if you're planning to use your system for gaming and content creation. The next Cinebench test that we ran renders the same scene as the previous test, but now on all available threads, and once again showed that the 5800X 3D isn't as fast at 3D rendering as the standard 5800X. Renewed competition in the CPU market means that AMD and Intel are trying distinctly different techniques to boost performance. Rather than chasing clock speed as the way to increase performance, AMD has gone in a different direction to Intel with the 5800X 3D and opted to massively scale up the level 3 cache. The newly expanded 3D V cache provides breakthrough performance in two out of the five games that we tested, but in the other three games, the results were less conclusive. You also need to be aware that the lower clock speed of the 5800X 3D makes it a less well-rounded CPU than the original 5800X. Sure, it's better for gaming, but not as fast as tasks as such as 3D rendering, which is no bad thing, however. It just means that you need to be choosing the right CPU for what you're going to use your PC for. All the more so, as the 5800X 3D costs a fair bit more than the 5800X. We'd love to know what you think of AMD's innovative new 3D V-Cache and the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D's incredible performance in some games. Leave us a comment below and tell us which CPU you'd pick and why. And of course, you can head over to our website to view the whole range of Ryzen CPUs, compatible motherboards, coolers and memory. And our brilliant new range of gaming PCs featuring the new processor built by our award-winning 3XS Systems team. Thank you.